Hello and welcome, everyone. Today, I want to share with you a new landscape painting that was inspired by a place that I visited many years ago. It's a view of an autumn afternoon on a hillside in Southern California. I love how the sunlight looks in this photo. It makes the scenery feel very peaceful and warm. Especially the light on the trees, casting their shadows over the golden field. So my main subject for this painting is this little house, and my main goal for this painting is to capture the feel of the whole scenery, which is a peaceful and warm golden afternoon on a hillside. And I hope that I can deliver this feeling to you through this painting. I wanted to have clean borders around this painting, so you can see that I'm putting washi tape around the edges of uh, the paper before I start painting. Today, I'm using poster color paint for this landscape, and these are just some leftover paint on the white palette that I used to mix my paint. I begin with the light sketch using burnt sienna and a round bamboo brush. These are very quick and loose light sketches that help me map out where everything is in the landscape. Eventually, I will paint over on this line, so I'm not worried if I make mistake here. I was holding my camera in one hand and painting with the other hand. So sometimes I didn't realize that the video was a little off, but I hope you can still see what I'm doing here. This video is not a step-by-step -step tutorial, but more like sharing with you my painting process. However, if you would like to paint this landscape, please feel free to give it a try. I will have the list of materials that I use. Available in this video's description for you to paint. I use poster color paint for this landscape, but you can use any art supply that you have. I would recommend traditional gouache because it is the most similar to poster color paint. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, even if you don't paint. So now I'm gonna use a three-quarter inch. Flat brush, and I'm going to mix a dark green for the shadow part of the trees. This is the darkest part of the landscape, and it's the big shadow from the trees that surrounding the house. So I just covered most of the green parts in the landscape, and now I'm going to add the golden and brown colors. At this point, I'm still working on the first layer of everything in the landscape. Everything is still look very rough now because this is just a base layer. As I work, I will be adding more layers and more details to the painting. Thank you. 
So here I'm using a light warm gray to paint the driveway. And I'm also adding a cool green for the shadow part of the driveway. So now the first layer of everything is done and I'm moving on to the second layer and here I'm just painting the, the tree behind the house. So here you can see that I'm starting to add the medium green and uh, lighter green for the highlights of the trees and bushes. And I'm using a half inch flat brush at this point. So here you can see that I just added more details to the house, the trees, and the whole landscape, but it still needs more work. And now I'm going back to painting the dark shadow using a very dark color that I mix from brush and blue, dark green, and burnt umber. And I'm using a round bamboo brush this time. So now I'm back to the mid-tone green again and I'm adding this color to the bright part of the trees. Thank you. 
moving on, I'm using a 3 quarter inch flat brush and a mixture of light golden color to paint the dry grass. And you can see that I'm not painting the individual grass, but I paint a big shape for the whole area of grass instead. The reason is because my main focus is not on the grass in the foreground, but on the house from a distance. So even though I'm very tempting to paint the details for the grass, I have to sacrifice that part and focus on the main subject. For the power post near the house, I use a different flat brush and I'm turning it sideways to get a thinner brush stroke. And now for the power lines, I use a small liner brush to get the very thin lines. And now I'm done with the painting. I just need to remove the tabs and see if I need to add anything else after that. So here is a closer look at the final painting. I'm really happy with the result and I enjoy painting this one a lot. I hope that you also enjoy watching this video and maybe give this painting a try. Let me know if you have any questions or comments for me. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye!